One is equal to two. Well, no, not really, but you may have seen something like this before. There are quite a few variations of this setup, but one way to demonstrate this is as follows. Assume a is equal to b. We begin with a simple equation a times a equals a times b. Fair enough, right? Well, that becomes a squared equals ab. We can then go on to subtract b squared from both sides, factor out the binomial on the left-hand side of the equation, and factor out b on the right-hand side of the equation, resulting in this. We cancel out a minus b on both sides, which leaves us with a plus b equals b, where, if you recall, a equals b, making b plus b equal b, which simplifies to 2b equals b, which makes 1 equal to 2. This seemingly paradoxical example isn't actually a true paradox at all, it's just false, and the fallacy occurs at the step where we divided both sides by a minus b. Again, recall that we assumed a equals b, well, that makes the quantity a minus b equal to 0, and you cannot divide anything by 0 as this is an undefined operation in math. This just goes to show the mathematical absurdities that can result if we do attempt to perform undefined operations, such as dividing by 0 anyway. This is how